Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name's Nathan. I'm the Director of Digital Learning and ICT at Playford International College. In today's tutorial, we're just gonna talk a little bit about Compass, which uh, we're all excited about. From our website, if you go to the Parents tab and then you scroll down to the bottom, you will see a beautiful link here to software guides and links. And again, this just shows you or talks a little bit about all of the different software platforms we use at Playford International College. And as I said, today we're gonna to be talking about Compass. Compass is a um, cloud-based software, so you can access it from anywhere in the world, which helps us um, track and monitor student attendance. It also presents the student timetable um, and gives you a bit of information about, and the teachers a little bit of information about the student um, and their learning needs. On this page here, you can see we've got a little bit of an introduction to Compass. We've also got a parent's guide to Compass. So if you need some more information, you're welcome to contact the school or visit our website. Otherwise, visit this link and it gives you a really detailed breakdown of how you can actually get the best or the most out of Compass. Um, but I'm gonna go straight to the platform. I've already logged in um, and I've logged in as a parent. Um, so please be aware that this is the exact same view that a parent will see. Compass is really, well, they like to think they are really logically laid out. Um, we've got a quick introduction here um, about the Playford International College portal and then we've got the student here um, and we can go directly to the profile. We could email the, the teachers of the student, we could add an attendance note or we could view any academic reports. We can also see here if there's any overdue learning tasks. On the right hand side you can see there's a breakdown here of um, news announcements from the school. So if you wanted to see anything um, or any information about that the school is putting out, you can just click on this link and you can see all of that. Over here, you've got your settings cog over here. So if you need to change your password or update any of your details. So if you've got a new email address or um, phone number, please um, provide us with the most up-to-date information. That'd be uh, really helpful so we can be in contact. Uh, but if I go back to the home, I just wanna show you something really quickly. If we go to the student profile tab, you can see the way here Canvas lays out their platform. They've got all these different tabs up here. Um, so they've got five across the top there. And you can work your way as a parent or a carer and you can get all the information you need about your student just by working your way from the very left-hand side dashboard to then go into the schedule, learning tasks, attendance reports and insights. Um, really simply on this student uh, dashboard here, we can see we've got the student. They have five classes today. This little green indicator means that this student has attended the first lesson and has been marked as present. This is the schedule for the day, so we can see the lessons that are coming up. Any of those blanks indicate a um, blank or a free study period in the timetable. And then on the right-hand side, um, we can see these are some notes that have been put in by teachers. So this first one's a positive record recognition. We've got a few positive recognitions on this particular student, which is great to see. We might see an attendance notification um, or if the student is also being late to school, that'll also pop up here as well. Um, really quickly, underneath the student ID, there's some information, so whether there's a medical alert um, that the teacher or the school needs to be aware of, that'll um, pop up and be a really quick identifier. If you wanted to contact, oh, sorry, I just hit the add button there. If you want to add an attendance note, so if you wanted to tell us that the student would be missing um, later this afternoon because they have a medical, medical appointment or if they're gonna be away tomorrow, you can do that and add in that attendance note directly. Otherwise, if you wanted to email um, the student's teachers, you can do that from this page as well. If we click on the schedule, we can see this is the schedule for the week. So this is all the classes that the student needs to be in, um, the time, the location, and who the teacher is as well. Anything that's blue means it's a standard lesson. Anything that comes up in this orange peachy color uh, means that there's been a change. And in this instance, the teacher is away and they're being replaced by a, um, another teacher for the day. You can toggle back or forth um, so you can see what happened in previous weeks or if you want to go to future weeks, you can as well. I'm going to uh, skip learning tasks. That's if we were doing all of our teaching and learning on Compass, that would be um, relevant. But because we're using Canvas as our learner management system, I'm not going to worry about that. I am going to go to attendance and it's really important that um, our whole community gets their head around this attendance portal. We can see this is a breakdown of the whole year. All of these green boxes means that this particular student is attending. Anything blue means that there may have been a change to the school day, so it could be an excursion um, or sports day or something like that. And any of these orange uh, colored boxes mean that the student was away, uh, but it's been justified by a reason. If we see anything red, that flags it's an unapproved attendance, and that's where we'd really need your help. If you see anything um, being flagged here as red, 
Um, as a parent, you could click on that box there and then add an attendance note to tell us why the student was missing for the day. Alternatively, if the student was supposed to be at school that day, um, that's a really good opportunity that um, you can pick up the phone and give us a call and we can talk about that particular incident. Notes and approvals over here, you could add a, a, an attendance note. Um, we can see all the incidents here that are unexplained or if we want a full record um, for the student, it will load up in this particular part here. Lastly, I'm gonna to go to the reports tab and here we've got all of the reports um, for 2018 and 2019 for this particular student. So if you wanted to view one of those reports, I'm gonna click on the 2019 final semester report. That'll um, have a little moment where it buffers and then it'll download the report. We can see it's generating right now and then you can view any academic report for your student. Just lastly, if you click or if you go up to the top navigation menu, you'll see a star there. And that's the school favourites menu, so we've got a whole range of links here. This will link to the Canvas portal if you want to see the house leaders or the house table or if you want to see the Playford Careers website. This is a really quick um, little menu here of all of our favourite links. Today we went over a few different features of Compass and I know it was very uh, quick or a brief overview and we went through um, how to use the platform, how to navigate your way around and then how to see that attendance module and add a note. If you've got any more uh, questions or you want to see some more information, please feel free to visit our website, playford.sa.edu.au or view the Compass Guides.